In the towering heart of the cosmos, where galaxies dance and stars shine like celestial jewels, we find ourselves on a tiny planet suspended in infinity. For millennia, mankind has raised its eyes to the sky, peering into the immensity of the mystery that surrounds us. At a time when the Earth was the centerpiece of the universe, there arose an insatiable curiosity, a burning desire to know the secrets hidden among the stars. Today, armed with advanced technology and a determination to explore the unknown, we delve into the side real darkness. The James Webb Space Telescope, an engineering marvel, takes us on this epic journey through unimaginable spaces. With minds illuminated by thinkers like Roger Penrose, we rise beyond the frontiers of understanding, driven by the thirst for knowledge and curiosity that has always characterized us. This is our journey, a cosmic adventure through the depths of space and time, where every bright spot in the sky conceals a history thousands of years old. For much of human history, people believed that the planet Earth was the center of the universe. That's understandable. Earth is pretty big. We now know that it's a speck compared to the universe. To get a sense of that scale, consider this grain of sand held at arm's length. In that tiny area, there are almost 10,000 entire galaxies. That's a quadrillion stars and as many planetary systems. In fact, there are surely more entire worlds in the observable universe than there are grains of sand on this one. Have you ever wondered just how massive the universe is? Well, prepare to be amazed. The observable universe, which is the part we can see from Earth, spans a staggering 93 billion light years across. But here's the mind-blowing part. That's only the fraction of the universe we can currently observe. There's potentially an infinite amount more beyond what our eyes can see. It's a tantalizing mystery, but fear not for we have a remarkable two-letter disposal, the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, combined with the brilliant minds of thinkers like Roger Penrose, allows us to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. This incredible telescope will help us uncover cosmic secrets that have remained hidden for eons. With its ability to detect various forms of light, from visible to infrared, it will reveal new insights into the evolution and structure of our awe-inspiring universe. To truly comprehend the vastness of the observable universe, let's start by understanding the concept of the observable universe itself. When we gaze into the night sky, the light that reaches us from distant objects has traveled for an astonishingly long time. This is because the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. So when we look at something far away, we're actually observing light that left that object billions of years ago. However, there is a limit to how far we can see. If an object is so far away that its light would have taken more than 13.8 billion years to reach us, it remains beyond our observation. This boundary creates a bubble around us known as the observable universe. The radius of this bubble extends approximately 46 billion light years in all directions from Earth. Fascinatingly, this size is larger than the age of the universe itself because the universe has been expanding since its inception. The expansion of the universe plays a crucial role in its vastness. As the universe expands, objects that emitted light 13.8 billion years ago have moved even farther away from us. Consequently, our observable universe encompasses a mind-boggling expanse of 93 billion light years across. And remember, that's only what we can currently see. There is likely so much more universe out there waiting to be discovered. Once the light from those distant regions reaches us within our observable universe, there is a bustling cosmic metropolis. It's home to at least two trillion galaxies, each hosting billions or even trillions of stars, along with planets and other celestial objects. And it doesn't stop at what we can directly observe. There are phenomena and substances in the universe that we can't see with our eyes alone but are nonetheless present through other means. One such mystery is dark matter. Although invisible and intangible, we infer its existence through its gravitational effects on galaxies. Dark matter remains elusive, yet its presence is crucial for shaping the structure of the universe. Another enigma is dark energy, an even stranger force responsible for the universe's accelerating expansion. It pervades space and drives galaxies apart faster and faster over time. Moreover, there is the faint glow of radiation known as the cosmic microwave background, 
CMB. This afterglow originates from the Big Bang, the event that marked the birth of the universe. It permeates space and provides valuable clues about the early stages of our cosmic journey. Additionally, we have neutrinos, elusive particles whizzing through space with minimal interaction, yet they leave traces of their existence. The vastness of the universe becomes even more apparent when we consider the concept of redshift. As our universe expands, it stretches out the waves of light emitted by distant objects, making them longer. This phenomenon is known as redshift. The farther an object is from us, the more its light is redshifted. By studying this redshift, astronomers can determine the distance of celestial objects and piece together the cosmic puzzle. Imagine, if you will, our observable universe as a grand cosmic show. We are privileged to have front row seats, but there's a catch. We're watching everything on a delay. When we observe a star located, let's say, 10 light years away, we're not seeing it as it is now. We're actually witnessing the light that left it 10 years ago. The farther away an object is, the older the light we observe. By examining objects at different distances, we can effectively map the history and evolution of the universe, providing us a glimpse into its own awe-inspiring past. Now, let's shift our focus closer to home. Our solar system. The distances within our solar neighborhood are also staggering. Take, for instance, the sun and the moon. Although they may appear close, their actual distances from us are immense. The sun, our radiant star, resides a whopping 150 million kilometers away from Earth on average. This distance is known as one astronomical unit, AU. However, due to the elliptical orbit of Earth around the sun, the distance can vary between 147 million kilometers at the closest point, perihelion, and 152 million kilometers at the farthest point, aphelion. Moving outward from the sun, we encounter the planets of our solar system. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury, located at an average distance of about 58 million kilometers. Venus follows at an average distance of approximately 108 million kilometers from the sun. Earth, our home planet, sits at a comfortable distance of 150 million kilometers. Next in line is Mars, situated around 228 million kilometers away from the sun. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is located much farther, at an average distance of about 778 million kilometers. Saturn, known for its magnificent rings, orbits at an average distance of approximately 1.4 billion kilometers. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, is located around 2.9 billion kilometers away. Neptune, the farthest known planet in our solar system, sits at an average distance of about 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun. Beyond Neptune lies the region of the solar system known as the Kuiper Belt, which is home to many icy bodies, including Pluto. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet, was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. It orbits at an average distance of about 5.9 billion kilometers from the Sun. Even within our solar system, the distances are immense, and it would take considerable time and effort to traverse them. For example, a spacecraft traveling at the speed of light would take approximately 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach Earth from the Sun. To reach Pluto, it would take about 5.5 hours at the speed of light. Beyond the confines of our solar system lies the vast expanse of interstellar space. The nearest star to our Sun is Proxima Centauri, located about 4.24 light years away. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year, which is roughly 9.5 trillion kilometers. To put it into perspective, if we were to send a spacecraft traveling at the speed of light to Proxima Centauri, it would take over four years to reach our nearest neighboring star system. This demonstrates the immense distances between stars and the challenges involved in exploring interstellar space. As we venture further out into the Milky Way galaxy, we encounter billions of stars spread across its spiral arms. The Milky Way is estimated to be about 100,000 light years in diameter, containing between 100 and 400 billion stars. Within this vast galaxy, our solar system resides in a relatively small corner. But even the Milky Way is just one among countless galaxies in the universe. The exact number of galaxies is not known, but estimates suggest that there could be as many as 2 trillion galaxies or even more. 
Each of these galaxies can contain billions or trillions of stars, making the total number of stars in the universe mind-bogglingly immense. In our exploration of the universe, we have only scratched the surface of its grandeur. The universe holds mysteries beyond our current comprehension, and new discoveries are waiting to be made. With advancements in technology and our relentless pursuit of knowledge, we will continue to unravel the secrets of the cosmos, expanding our understanding of the universe's vastness and complexity. That concludes our journey through the vastness of the universe. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars and never stop wondering about the wonders of the universe.